So it should really have like a really cool feel with it. It's just me. Uh, it's called the Three Treasures Waltz. I was lost, I was lonely, I was sick, I was tired, overwhelmed by my troubles and faults. But I knew one day I'd be laughing, yes, one day I'd be dancing to the strains of the three treasures waltz. <laughs> oh, I set off to find those three treasures. The three treasures of Jing Chi and Shen. I knew one day I'd find them and then I'd refine them. And I had no idea where all went. <laughs> 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 Of the ocean, through the murky depths and the gloom. And on the ocean floor, when I felt I could search no more, I found a pearl that gleamed like the moon. It was as small as a seat, yet it had all you need for life to be passed on and passed down. I felt so strong, so clear, without hesitation or fear, and I knew my dear essence I'd find. I saw the countless beings before me. They are range, so diverse and so vast, multitudinous perfection in seamless connection, each form. More subtle than the last. <laughs> now fixed and now flowing, they were coming and going. Change, the only constant they knew. And with each transformation, with each transmutation, the chi in me was renewed. <laughs> I soared to the heavens where I felt so at home, past the pinpoint stars with a gentle light. Beyond time and space to a limitless place where the shen shines so clear and so bright. In that radiant presence, I was radiant too, and from all my troubles, it was released. Beyond where and when. Found a way to the shed, and the heart was so joyful and at peace. Oh, I've searched and I found those three treasures the three treasures of Jin Chi and Shen. I was refreshed and renewed, was in the best of moods. Oh, I fell back myself once again. Gone now the lonely days, gone now the mirrored maze, gone my time in the tomb and the vault. Yes, now I'm laughing, cause I'm spinning and dancing to the strengths of the three treasures Okay, the serious business. Still on dragons. Let me tell you a bit more about dragons and what they mean for the Chinese. One thing is they're almost always searching for this pearl, the heart of life. Here, quite beautifully done with this kind of radiant fire on a temple on top. Uh, here's some more dragons. I've kind of got a few dragons to show you. Here are the dragons on the back of a Taoist uh, robe. And probably it'll be tomorrow afternoon when we get to the Ma Wang Dui banner, which is, oh, maybe just have a quick look just to show you there are dragons on it. Uh, on page 23, we're going to be looking at the 
funeral banner of Mawan Dwey, which is the story of the journey after death and the separation of the Hunan Hope. And just notice that there are dragons in the top section here, and there are two intercoiling dragons in the bottom section. So, dragon is something to do with the vitality, the mystery of the heart of life, and some. Uh, it's hard to, to give it justice, you know, it's uh, full of power, full of vitality. And uh, we see it here, there are lots of stone carvings of dragons. And if you go and see the temples in China, you'll see so many dragons in so many different places. Uh, here must be the imperial dragon, because it's got one, two, three, four, five uh, fingers, five claws. <coughs> Here, and holding the pearl, the pearl of life. Yeah, the, the, the kind of the dragons, or two dragons, or sometimes nine dragons. There's a beautiful nine dragon screen in Beijing with uh, nine different colored dragons, all kind of searching for this pearl, searching for the heart of life, searching to, 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 to hold it in their hands, you know, as, as we are doing ourselves in a way. So, what is the dragon? The dragon is a symbol of. Uh, Fertility, or fertility, to bring fertility. And we're going to see that in the sexual text as well. Uh, the penis is going to be called the dragon's head, for example, while the vagina is going to be called the tiger's tail. And so the, the, the dragon would be the male power, and the tiger would be the yin power in a lot of the sexual texts. But the dragon has the ability to coil up and be as small as a little silkworm in the palm of your hand. Or it expands and covers the whole sky, like in a thunderstorm, and brings down the rain. Brings down the rain. That's a really important aspect. These dragons are connected with water and the ability to bring water to the landscapes through thunder and through lightning and through rain. That irrigates the landscape and would also be used as a sexual metaphor as well, which we'll, we'll see when we study a little bit on sexual texts. So that's important, that kind of aspect of potency and fertility and life bringing and life giving and life renewing and life recharging. That's a dragon, something uh, very sinuousy, um, yeah, full of vitality, full of life. Uh, it's said in the summer it hides in the well. It hides deep in the well. Yeah, so it's like it can go deep down into the yin. And it can come up and spread. He is, you know, as tiny as a silkworm and as large as the whole sky. That's that uh, power of expansion that we have with the wood element, that we have, of course, with the penis itself, which can be, you know, quite small and soft and then large, strong and hard. It's that, that sexual power. And if you don't have that sexual power with uh, inability to have an erection or inability to keep an erection heart, all of those things, that's totally in the realm of the liver and of the kidneys. Because remember, the kidney will always be the root of the tree of the liver. The roots will always be the kidney. And it's kind of hard, actually, to separate uh, kidney and liver. If you want to separate them, the kidney is the invisible part. It's the bit underground that you don't see. And the liver is, is the visible part. It's the part that, uh, that comes up. But there is no tree that can stand without, without a root. So potency problems in men often treated not only on the liver, but go back, go back one, go back to the, go back to the kidney. And we'll talk about some points and things when we come to that section.